The gloves are off tonight in campaign 2020. Yeah, Democratic frontrunner now, Joe Biden and President Trump are wasting no time at all going after each other. And kick on Ines Lori Perez joins us now. And Lori, it looks like the men are ready to play hardball. Hmm. It definitely does. We are only two days, two days into Joe Biden's bid for the White House, and we are quickly getting a look at what a Trump v. Biden election could look like if Biden wins the nomination. The president has already basically called Biden old and dumb. Biden has insinuated Trump is unethical and a liar. Very fine people on both sides. Very find people on both sides. Joe Biden yesterday announcing his presidency and immediately criticizing President Trump for supporting violent white nationalists in Charlottesville two years ago. And true to form, whenever he is called out, Mr. Trump jabbed right back today. I was talking about people that went because they felt very strongly about the monument to Robert E. Lee, a great general. With that, the jaws of the Democratic and Republican pundits alike dropped as President Trump doubled down on one of the most controversial moments of his presidency. Republicans don't want to see that. They're, they're horrified every time he brings it up. Why would you want to bring up a low point in your presidency? Uh, to be fair, Biden brought it up, but the president responded by relitigating Charlottesville, left strategists on both sides stunned and yet not. He doesn't know Robert E. Lee from Bruce Lee. You know, oh, kung fu movies. No, he's sending not just dog whistles, he's sending foghorns to the ultra-right fringe, to the racist right. Civil war issues included, the battle for the White House has begun. In just the last 24 hours, Trump, 72, went after the former VP, 76 years old. I am a young, vibrant man. I look at Joe, I don't know about him. If he looks young and vibrant compared to me, I should probably go home. Biden called Trump's presidency a threat to the nation. America's coming back like we used to be, ethical, straight, telling the truth. The biting, blunt back and forth of campaign politics has begun, and with the latest polls showing Biden over Trump, it will only get more aggressive. Maybe especially, some say, on the part of the president who prides himself on raw, unscripted comments. Now, in his first 24 hours as a candidate, Joe Biden raised about $6.3 million. That is the most of anyone in the current field. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Lori.